Hey everybody, it's 13th Wolfman. You know what today is? Today is the first day of the 31 days of horror. That's right, 31 movies, 31 days, and 31 videos. Of course, I'm not the only one doing this. Go check out, uh, go check out Brother Max over at the one and only MSJ. He right now is the only one that I know that is doing this this year. But, uh, Check out I Am the Ice Lord anyway, because I'm not sure. I think he might be doing it. He does it every year, too. So, check him out. Now, let's get into this year's 31 Days. This year, I did something different. Usually, I, I'm i kind of like, okay, I have a bunch of movies sitting around that I bought over the year. And I'm saving them up for Halloween, you know, the 31 Days of Horror. I, I didn't do a lot of buying this year. I did some buying, but not a lot. And so I thought, you know what? I have a ton of movies sitting around the house that I, I do watch. But let's... I want to do... I want to do a theme this year. Now, see, I've seen Brother Max do this. Brother Max comes up with themes every year for his. And in my own head, I think that's got to be tough. Are a little aggravating to come up with a new theme every year. So I thought I'd come up with a theme this year to see how hard it was to do. It was a little tough, but I came up with an idea. You know, it's not something that everyone does. Uh, my theme is horror movies and sequels. People are like, everyone out there, y'all going, what the hell, Wolfie? Um, that's kind of boring. Well... There's a few of them that, that uh, they're not, they're, they're sequels, but they add to the full story of the, the, the full story of, of the franchise. So there's at least three, three, maybe four uh, franchises that are going to be shown with an alternate viewing. And what I mean by an alternate viewing is that if you watch the Marvel movies, you know, you could watch them. You can sit down and go, okay, I'm going to sit down and watch all 20-some Marvel movies, but I'm going to watch them from the first one they came out to the last one they came out. Okay, that's one way to watch them. The other way to watch them is, well, I'm going to watch them in the order of of the, you know, oh, how do I put the superhero so, Captain America, first Avenger, would be the first movie, because it takes place in the 40s. And then you got Captain Marvel, takes place in the 90s. And, you know, you see that, that's an alternate way of watching it, so that it unfolds the story chronologically. And that's what I did here, and I started off today with, uh, with just that idea. Today's movie is... Final Destination 5. What? Horror movies and sequels? You're watching Final Destination 5? Final Destination 5, if anyone has seen it, knows the twist ending. The twist ending has everything to do with why I'm watching it this way. At the end of this movie, it flows into actually the first movie. I mean, this movie takes place... You know, well, uh, don't want to give too much away, but this movie actually takes place, like, a few weeks before the events of the first movie. And we actually see some of the events of the first movie in this movie. So now I'm watching five as the first movie, one as the second movie, and so on. And I'm going to watch the story that way. Well, I think about this movie. I love this movie. This movie, I mean, I know that they went more with a 3D effect, and it kind of gets away from you in some parts. Like when, when she gets impaled on the, on the mast of the sailboat, a sailboat. Um, it kind of it's kind of like a little wonky looking, you know, the blood and all that. But honestly, it's just a really good way to start off. And like I said, this is, I remember seeing this in the theater, and when I saw how it ended, I was like, oh, okay, 
Now I'm doing the alternate viewing, as I put it. You know, uh, not much more to say about this. This, the really funny thing about this movie is that I don't recognize anyone. You, you think that people, they're like, oh, I made a movie, and you think that they get shot into like semi stardom, but I don't. I mean, I is Emma. The only one I think I recognize is Emma Bell. But I'm not even positive of that. I just know that there's a few late, a few actresses with the last name Bell. I could be confusing her with someone else. But uh, yeah, this this really is a fun way to start this. So you kind of have an idea of what I'm watching tonight, uh, tomorrow night, tonight, tomorrow night. Um, but yeah. So, Final Destination Five. What do you guys think? Uh, what's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite Final Destination film? What's your favorite kill in each Final Destination film? In this one, my favorite kill is actually the gymnast because it's just so messed up. It's amazing what has to happen for for that to happen. But what's your what's your favorite part? What you know is it one, two, three, four, five? I know that they're making a sixth one, but I, I just, I really like the way that this one ended. I don't know if they can continue, I mean, they can continue on, but I just don't see how it's going to tie in. Other than that, you know, always like, subscribe, share, comment. I always want to know what you have to say, you know. And uh, with that, as always, I am the 13th Wolfman, and of course, I'm on the prowl.